Welcome to the Hardware and Installation Overview of NetInt's VPU. Hi, my name is Kenneth Robinson, and I'm the manager of the Field Application Engineers here at NetInt. NetInt has two different product families, each with two different form factors. The Logan T408 and the Quadra T1U are both U.2 form factors. You install these drives like any other 2.5 inch SSD. Please consult your server manual for proper installation. Please note that these drives require NVMe slots and not SATA. If you are not sure, please consult your server manual for details. When installing the Logan T408, which is our first generation device, please note that this is a PCIe Gen 3 device. If this device is connected to a Gen 2 or a Gen 1 slot, then the device may not be detected or, if it is detected, there will be a decrease in capacity. In contrast, the second generation Quadra T1U is a PCIe Gen 4 device. If this device is connected to a Gen 3, Gen 2, or a Gen 1 slot, then this device may not be detected. And if it is detected, then there will be a decrease in capacity. If you're unsure if your NVMe slots are Gen 3 or Gen 4, please consult your server manual or motherboard for more details. The second form factor is PCIe. We have the first generation Logan T432, the second generation Quadra T1A, which is gray, and the Quadra T2A, which is red. You install these cards like any other PCIe device, like a graphics card, a network card, or video capture device. If you have not installed a PCIe device before, please consult your server manual for proper installation. There are three make or break deals to consider when installing these cards. First, you must enable bifurcation for the T432 and the T2A. This is because these cards have more than one ASIC or VPU, and the system needs bifurcation to properly detect and address them. You will probably have to enable bifurcation in the BIOS. If it's not enabled, then the system will only detect one VPU, and in some rare cases, the card will not be detected at all. Second, note the T432 is a PCIe Gen 3 device, and the T1A and the T2A is a PCIe Gen 4 device. Like the T48 and the T1U, if these cards are connected to an older PCIe Gen slot, then these cards may not be detected, or if they are detected, then there will be a decrease in capacity. If you're unsure if your PCIe slots are Gen 3 or Gen 4, please consult your motherboard or server manual for more details. Lastly, these cards do not require any additional power, and they do not contain any onboard fans. This means the server must provide proper airflow to properly cool these cards. The airflow can be either from front to back or back to front. If these cards experience a high temperature, it will enter a throttle state and decrease the performance. For example, there could be a drop in the frame rate. As always, if you have any questions or need assistance, please email support at netint.ca and our field application engineers will be happy to assist.